All right, guys, so here are my cards. Um, I absolutely loved working with this kid. Such bright, fun colors. And the theme is very different than a typical Love From Lizzie kit. So this was a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you each one I did. This first one, which I think was the last one I made. But a um, piece of pattern paper. And I used white cardstock. Um, and then some ephemera pieces. And then I did a strip of some of my scrap paper. So I could do Hey Friend. And you could see it. Um, and then I added a little ephemera piece. I said it before, I'm really picky with puffy stickers and stuff like that. And I loved these. So they stick. They were really easy to um, take off the sheet. And they just look so good. They don't look like a cheap old sticker. So I really liked these. Looking forward to using those more. Um, definitely went straight to my stash. <laughs> but I love that little sun. So cute. And such a bright, fun card. This next card, I didn't use the stamp set really at all, except for this girl, um, which is typical of me when there's ephemera pieces, that's my go-to. But I did want to incorporate her somehow. Um, so I colored her up, really easy to color. Isn't she cute? I fussy cut her out, and I thought she would make a really cute little girl's birthday card. So then I made sure to save this ephemera piece to pair with her. And this piece of ephemera is that little iridescent cake. And I used a scallop die to cut this piece of pattern paper out. And then I also used some of the, the circle, their clear glitter peel-offs, um, but the circle shape. And I added, I kind of thought they looked like bubbles, which I thought was really cute. And I typically don't use these. I just am in love with the pinstripes, but I really like how these came out. My next card, again, I was trying my best to incorporate at least one from each of the um, supplies that came in the kit, the stamp set. And I wanted to use the little paper clip. This does come right off, but if you don't want it to come off, you can always um, add some adhesive to it or tape it on the back where nobody sees. But I thought if, if I do pass this card along or whatever, someone could take this off and use it. So I really like this big old bird. By the way, the this pattern paper is from the 12 by 12 sheet. This I love because um, it was good pattern paper if I wanted a really subdued background. Um, so a lot of times if I want a subdued background, I'll add a plainer um, pattern paper because a lot of times, you know, I love this, but if you put anything on, on it, it kind of gets lost. So this was great. Um, and all these are ephemera pieces. This butterfly was one of those that you could fold, and I just cut that right off and trimmed off the little perfor perforation uh, pieces, so you couldn't tell, and um, added that to it, and I added some sequins. And I used the mint colored cardstock. This next one, this again was a ephemera pieces that you could fold. I really wanted to use these. I just thought they were so cute and there was coordinating pattern paper. Again, this pattern paper is really loud, both of them. So I was really kind of struggling with things getting lost. And so then I grabbed this piece and once I stuck this on, it's like everything really popped. I think because when I first look at this card, this is what I see first not the background. So I see this and then I see the cute little cups. So this worked out really well. And then um, I did use a peel off. And this was part of the uh, new release add on peel off package and some sequins. And also this was um, attached to I think three other pieces and I just ripped them apart and uh, used that which I thought was really cute. Let's see. Okay, this one, very simple card, and I was trying to add more to it, but the more I added, the more I didn't like it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let this little dude be the focal point. So um, paired it with a couple pieces of pattern paper and stuck him on with a happy birthday. I thought, what a cute little boy's birthday, or girl's, whatever, but cute, really cute birthday card. And I need to keep reminding myself, sometimes simple is better. It doesn't have to be all busy and crazy. So that one's really cute. Next, we have this one, which I really love. Just a simple hello card. I used two pieces of pattern paper. Oh, and on this one, I did use some silver peel-offs. 
And on this one, I used a mint color peel off. Um, two ephemera pieces. Again, use those hel um, puffy stickers to spell out hello. Looks perfect. And then added some sequins. This card was the first card I made. Very simple, but look how colorful it is. Really liked pairing these two pieces of pattern paper together because their colors were perfect. I did add some mint peel-offs to finish off the edges, my favorite way of using the peel-offs. And then I just popped up that ephemera piece to complete that card. Very simple and easy. Next, this card. This was also an, an ephemera piece that was folded so you could see both sides. Chopped it off, trimmed it up, used it as one because it is so cute and then did the Born to Shine. Um, I did consider cutting this and layering these two, but I'm like, you know what? This is really different, one long piece. And then added the little banner just for fun. And again, use that pattern paper that I really like. Next, we have this sweet little card. Again, I kind of struggled with this one because of the busy pattern paper. I didn't want these pieces to get lost. So I went ahead and stuck this piece of pattern paper there to kind of break it up. And I think it turned out really good. And then I added the love ya because it goes perfect with the hearts. Um, didn't add any peel offs. If I had it to do over, I would. Um, but you could just kind of see the difference of how finished the edges look compared to this. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but look how much better to me this looks, in my opinion than this. I just think this is such a nice touch to finish off the edges. Regardless, really cute card. And finally, this fun card. Look at this. I was trying, and this was towards the end, I'm like, I need to incorporate this pattern paper with one of the dancing, or the skating, or the hula hooping unicorn. And it is just so cute. And I had, I didn't want to cover this up, but I had made sure to have him peeking out and then the radio, which matches the pattern paper. Don't quit your daydream. And then added him. And then I added this strip again to kind of break up the, the pattern back here. Isn't that sweet? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As of filming this, the kit is still available. I'm going to post this as soon as I'm done. Um, so if you're interested in the kit, it will be linked below, as well as the add-ons. If you wanted to see an unboxing of what came in the kit, I will have that linked below as well. Um, and let me know what your favorite card was, and if you picked up the kit, uh, what are you looking forward to working with the most? This was a lot of fun. I like this uh, theme, and I hope Lizzie does this theme, uh, or the bright colors and the kind of fun ephemera more often. It was really a lot of fun to work with. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.